Well, hello there. You caught me just about to edit and export today's episode of Dark Souls 3. Before I edit and export today's episode of Dark Souls 3, I wanted to let you all know that during this episode, I do reference the same thing I referenced in the description yesterday, that Yorm will scale to our level or some shit. I read that in the comments section a couple episodes back, and I need to learn my lesson and not trust people in the comments, because I've since checked that myself, and it turns out it's, um... It's not true. Uh, we could level up fine. Yorm will maintain the same level. Granted, it won't be much of a difference versus Yorm, uh, but we are safe to do that. However, today's episode, the, the, the rest of it that you can see here, is me acting under the assumption that we're not able to level up anymore to fight Yorm. So we're doing a lot of kind of extra activities as much as I think we can do without leveling up. So we're kind of under level going into some of these areas. Bear in mind, we haven't properly leveled up since like the Deacons at this point. So just bear that in mind as we dive in here and ignore me talking about if I do talk about uh, Yorm potentially being a problem in this run. Because I am going to attempt to fight Yorm knowing that with the Cestus. I'm committing to the idea. Well, hello there, you worthless pile of unkindled ash. Welcome to Dark Souls 3, where today we're going to take a sad lie down to kick things off because I had a look a little bit at the spoiler log. And I thought the spoiler log as well is just a text file, right? Um, which you can search through in Notepad or whatever. I'll make that available for you guys to download somewhere. So if you want to read through it and give me some hints, because I don't want to read through the actual... There's, there's hints at the top of it and then there's full-on specific item locations at the bottom. I've looked at the hints, and that's as far as I've gone for, for specific items. So specifically today, I looked at the hint for the grave key to get Irina, um, as I mentioned yesterday. Uh, turns out it's in the DLC again. So I'm going to put the list online somewhere for you all to... I'll just paste it into a Google Doc, and then you don't even have to download it. You can just open it up and search through that. Um, so that you guys can be in the know. So you've got a lot more knowledge about things than I've got. Because I thought that'd be kind of fun. You guys knowing what I've got to do and what I've got to suffer through to, uh, get to where we've got to go, right? So that's down to you. I had a look where two things were, actually. The tower key and the grave key for Irina. Uh, both. Also, the hint for the tower key, it says, is in Firelink Shrine, available after Lothric Castle. And the, um... Key for Irina, it says, is in the Dreg Heap, which is in the second DLC. So I hate to say it, I think we're going to have to go to the DLC areas, like right now, because it sounds as if so much shit, like the coal and everything, is in the Dreg Heap. I feel like we should just do it now. Ashen one. So here's what we're going to do then. We're going we're gonna to pivot today. We were obviously fighting Yorm at the end of yesterday very briefly. I should also point out I'm recording this earlier than usual um, because my internet is down again. So I can't record remote because, again, it resets the model list and everything. I'd rather not deal with that. So I thought, fuck it, Dark Souls is better than nothing. I've also bitten the inside of my mouth so badly it's kind of hard to talk. So I apologize if I'm um, slurry. And when I say slurry, I mean like having difficulty pronouncing words, not in the PewDiePie sense of slurry. We've got a lot of souls. I mean, we might as well hang on to them for now, right? Just so that we can, uh, just so that we can crunch them later on when we are ready to level up. We're going to try and do as much of the game as possible without leveling up. Now, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go to Andre. We're going to infuse our plus 10 Cestus with the Shriving Stone. And we're going to make it generic Cestus item. Then I think I want to hit it with the raw gem. So that we can... So that we can use resins. That way... Because the lightning gem I think would be better just for a kind of generic go-to weapon. Because almost everything has a susceptibility to lightning. Not necessarily a weakness. But there are a lot of enemies that have... Kind of a weakness to fire, but some that also have a straight up immunity to fire. Such as the area we're about to go next and fight a big old demon. Um, so that wouldn't be so ideal. But the bonus to this is that we can apply whatever we want to it now. Uh, depending on the situation. So I'm going to go gold pine bundle. So when we use that on a weapon, it gives it lightning. Pale pine resin gives it magic. Uh, the rotten gives it, funnily enough, poison. And then finally we've got Carthus Rouge that gives lacerating. So a bleed effect. I also want to buy a few more. Someone sold, like, infinite cheap human pine resin. I don't remember who it was. What have you got? So she sells pale pine. Um, she sells expensive and not super expensive human pine resin there. 
We can only carry so much as well. Um, oh, she's got charcoal pine resin, infinite, which puts fire on it. Fire is one of those ones that's kind of useful to have in certain situations, but isn't really a big deal overall. Right, what did Carla have? Uh, nothing super valuable. Okay. Um, we can give her the divine turn, but I'm saving that for Irina, who we might be able to get. Shit, I mean, if we make it through the DLC, maybe we get that from the drag heap. Um, who had the... Who had the cheap... God, I hope it wasn't Yol. I don't think it was Yol. Do not think God Who had the cheap human pine <laughs> resin? Am I losing my mind here? Oh, was Go it again. Thingy? The, the thief? Who I sent out stealing. So it's gone. It doesn't really matter too much. It would just be another option. But right now we're fine. So we'll only use it if we need it. Because the damage output from this is already going to be very good. That also, by extent, kind of frees up a ring slot, right? So we can swap that out. Um, I'm kind of happy to put the defense back on, but I do think the Covetous Gold Serpent Ring... Uh, maybe Ring of Evil Eye until we're fighting a boss. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll just have to remember to switch this out when we get to a boss. Get in close with the fist. Tank the damage as much as possible. And use resins to kind of min-max a little bit. Get a little sweaty. Oh, I know what I meant to do. I was meant to go to Andre and use that other Esther shard that we found. So we're going to go back to what, the Tombs of Carthus, and we're going to go and fight the... Or we're going to go down to the Smoldering Lake, which is another kind of dead-end area. Uh, so let's go ahead and... What do I want to do with you? Reinforce my Estus Flask. We've only got one, right? Yeah. Pretty Bye, Andre. 11 Estus Flask plus 4 is actually insane. And then while we're here, why don't we buy the Ember from her? Buy some of her infinite Embers to sell back later to Bank Souls at a 1 to 1 ratio. To reiterate, so I hope you guys enjoy the kind of insider knowledge that I'm giving you here. Um, and well, I guess eventually we'll go through the profane capital without fighting Yorm and just kind of see what we can find. Uh, so I want to go back to Walnir. But I hope you enjoy the uh, the kind of inside baseball knowledge and being able to all laugh amongst yourself in the comment section at where some of these items are hidden. But again, I'm looking for hints, not spoilers. Because the whole point of a randomizer is to have that. Again, I, I love randomizers for Dark Souls because as someone who's played it a lot, you know where all the items are. You can basically go point to point to point to point. And if you've got like a particular weapon that you like or a particular type of weapon or a particular... B besides building new builds all the time, there's not really much you can vary Dark Souls with. That's why I love the randomizer, because it means that we're now on a kind of exploration as well, trying to track things down. And it's also kind of cool in the kind of, almost like the Pokemon randomizer sense, right? Not knowing what item you're going to get where. You might go to get a really good weapon early on that you wouldn't normally use, but it's so good in the early game, or like, like we've got right now, good Titanite making a fist build possible. So we're going to go fight this demon. Partially the reason why I also didn't want to use fiery fists. Oh, you shit. This guy is the same type of demon oh, that we fought with Sigurd. But this time around, he's a lot stronger. Have I got my... I really can't tell if we've got our other fist equipped. Oh my god, this guy's tough as fuck. Wow, I just got annihilated there. What the hell? That was really pathetic. That was terrible. The cool thing about this demon is... um. Well, if it's still there, there's a Mimic above it. You can wake the Mimic up and have that fight the demon for you. Yeah, we're not doing much damage against a giant demon with these, are we? We have sacrificed a lot of damage by converting it to raw. But the benefit of being able to use all the different resins on it is very, very nice. This might be a good use of a resin, actually, on the demon here. So I might use Gold Pine. Gold Pine gives out lightning damage. I wish this fucking bridge would stay down when he smashed it. Who keeps rebuilding that? Is that an item up there for... Oh, is that where Yuria dropped her torch? I don't know. It could be an item. I think we did miss a couple of items in the catacombs as well. Specifically just on the other side back there because I ran through it quite fast. Right, let's try this again. That was really pathetic the first time. So if we run down here, there are skeletons that we can wake up. Like this guy, right? Okay. Ow. Ow. The skeletons will fight the demon. Or it, the demon will chase me down. Okay, that was unintentional. Why does he keep doing that? We're trying to change what we've got on our fucking bar. Keeps on equipping our fucking weapon. Right, Mimic. Wake up and fight this demon for me.
Okay. Okay. Grab that. Where's the mimic? Where's the mimic? There he is. Let's bait the mimic down. Come on, you stupid fucker. Come fight this demon for me. I've only got... Yes! There you go. Nice. Oh, the mimic tried to grab the demon. The stupid mimic. You can't fight a demon. Damn, he's actually doing like a shitload of damage. You see that? <laughs> Just kick a demon in the nuts and kill it. That was awesome. Can't even be mad. Well, that was a mistake. <laughs> Try and drop a... Oh, you motherfucker. Why do we feel... I, I, I feel like we're so much slower now. What is going on? Why is that new crypto ring that's like slumming us down a shitload? Guys, okay, be careful. I feel like the lack of damage really is... um Really is very telling right now. Whoa. Large Titanite Shard. Okay, head in the game. Get back into it. Come on. This has been a this has been a terrible start so far. Shameful display. Eventually, when we get our lightning sisters up, we can just swap between them depending on what we're fighting. Use the lightning always, basically. Uh, but if we fight something that's susceptible, or, or, or more specifically, find something that's strong against lightning, we swap away to our regular cestus, our, our raw one that we're using now. That's the end game plan. Look at this area down here kind of sucks. It, 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 in my opinion, it's one of the weaker parts of the game. Just gets quite long. And it, it, it's, it feels like an area that was kind of an afterthought. Like, I feel like there was supposed to be more down here, but they never... <laughs> I am the Senate. I feel like this whole area down here was an area they intended to do something else with, but, like, didn't have the budget or ran out of budget or it just got cut from the end of the game. Because there's a lot of stuff down here, but it's all a bit pointless. We should re-ember because there are some invaders too. Uh, I guess we'll throw that on there for now. I don't have too much on the bar. If we are... Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's take that off the bar. If we're using resins, we want quick access to it. Okay. What ring did I equip again? The ring of the Evil Eye. A smoldering lake. Oh, this area sucks. It, it, there's only one boss in this entire area, and, and the area is much bigger than it looks. The boss is through that door. Up there is a giant siege weapon for reasons, I'll be honest, I don't quite understand. That you have to basically avoid as you go through with its fucking homing arrows. Ring of the Sun's Firstborn. Wow. I don't know what that does. Is it just one of the illusion rings? Might be. Either way, let's go and fight this boss then, shall we? Oh, look, a big snake. We will kill the big snake. It looks a lot spookier than it actually is, fortunately for us. It's also a big lightning snake. <laughs> this is fucking pathetic. <laughs> I don't know why the arrows don't hurt the snake. Maybe they do. I don't really remember. Ooh, careful there. Ah, oh, yeah, fucker. Wow, this is horrible to try and do with fists. What the fuck? Well, there he is. Ah, we're getting hit there by the by the crossbow, but we need to keep it active because it opens up a secret area. Actually, opens up a couple now that I think about it. Dark sigil, three of them. What the fuck kind of a drop is that? So now we're like even more hollow. Hollowing doesn't have an impact on the gameplay like Dark Souls Two um, and Dark Souls One, right? No impact on the game whatsoever. In this, it just affects a particular... And it, well, that's not true. It does have an impact on the game, but the only noticeable difference is that it will... 
potentially adjust the ending. But apparently I fucked that ending up anyway by killing the lady in the church, so never mind. Right. Helm of Thorns. Thank you. So down here is the demonic ruins. Go ahead and get this lit. But there, the, the way I always used to... I, I didn't even realize this area existed until actually genuinely the last time I played Dark Souls 3. Uh, specifically this bit. The way you can go down there is you can shoot like a hole in the floor. Or you'll bait that thing into shooting a hole in the floor. And then you drop down into it through that. That's how I always did it. I didn't even know this slope up here even existed. I guess it's just a more convenient bonfire to fight the demon with. This is why we use our resin. Oh, I like that. That's cool. Big piles of demons. You might recognize some of them from various Dark Souls games. Oh, well, this is going to be a laugh then, isn't it? Oh, this guy has some staggeringly massive AoE attacks. Which I'm not really looking forward to. Oh, no, I accidentally used more resin bollocks. Gotta remember next time. Oh, Jesus. We can try and get behind him. Oh, my God. I'm getting absolutely battered. Goodbye. There's the asylum demon. You might recognize that. Oh, the stray demon. Phase two already. We're doing good damage. We're also getting absolutely battered because I can't fucking get behind the guy. Oh, this is going to hurt. Oh, no. We're actually fine. Timed it apparently just right. Uh, let me out. I can't believe you can't get be between his legs like that. Fuck. Okay. Zippy. Thank God we've got as much Estus as we do. Because this would have this would have sucked if we'd have got really unlucky with the Estus spawns. That's just available in Drake Heap. Fucking isn't. Is, is our resin out already? Oh, Jesus. That was fast. I'm just going to tank the hit here. We were getting, like, such good damage. I didn't really mind. Oh! We're alive. For some miracle, we're alive. <laughs> well, that was fucking close, huh? He staggered. Let's finish the job. Sorry, old Demon King. Kind of sick of your shit, really. Toxic Mist. Oh, for that. That's weak. And that's it. That's like the entire boss fight of this area. But it's like right at the start of the area. It goes on so much longer than this. I assume there was going to be another boss. And this guy was like an introductory enemy for this area. Let's go down here. You got like the Capra Demons down here. Big old piles of asylum and stray demons. Is that Taurus demon there? Guess they had a big old demonic battle royale. Weird. What's that up there? Can't really tell. Some sort of big old demon anyway. It would have been so cool if after this fight you came back and you were looking around and then one of them like woke up. Like a Capra demon gets up or something like that. That would have been really, really cool and very, very unexpected. But like I said, this whole area just feels like a massive afterthought. There are no key items down here. There's no Lord of Cinder. There's no keys. There's no anything. There's a couple of pyromancy terms, so it's quite valuable if you're... Well, pyromancer. But other than that, that's it. There is, okay, there is technically an important part of one of the endings down here, which we'll be finding out in a second. Hey, shoot this wall for me. Nice. Warp. I mean, as you probably would feel standing in what I can only assume is boiling water. Careful with that. Fucking hell. So we have to go over, was that the way we came in? I think, like, down right in front of where the Tifar helmet is right there. There is an area we have to go to to find an NPC. Might be too late. I might have done it out of order. Ruined it forever. There we go. Nice. See, that's the way I always went before. I didn't even realize those other stairs were over there. I have to go over here quickly. I might miss a few items down here because... This area is... Oh, you shit. A bit of a... a bit of a shit. Okay.
And we're gonna try and not level up, like I said. I know we got a lot of souls. We'll just bank them for later. If we are gonna fight the Yawn Flight with Cestus, I want to give us at least a, a... I was gonna say a fighting chance, but at least a surviving chance at this point, huh? Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh! No. Oh! Please. Okay. Alva Leggings, thank you. So these guys, this is one of the two NPCs that we missed out, unfortunately, in episode four. Why would it not let me pillage that? It's Horace. Horace and Henry met on the road to episode five. They are both hollows. And unfortunately, Horace has gone mad. All hollows go mad eventually. It's always the fucking characters with shields that fuck me up. Horace, please. You're embarrassing me. Nice. Ah. Fuck your shield. <laughs> there you go. An ember. So now I think we have to go back and speak to Anri, but she wasn't there when I was there last time. If we have a chat with her, she'll come back. Which is locks. Hang on, is that not a... Whip. Why do I think that lets us cast a spell? Am I misremembering? That is quite clearly just a whip. Hmm. Uh, apparently that's also just alt tabbed me. Okay, thank you for that. <laughs> Fucking terrible. What a mess. This whole thing would have been a lot easier with a control scheme that was, like, viable. Unreal. Whenever you open a game, it would be so much better if Steam just fucked off at that point. No Steam overlay. No Steam big picture. No Steam controller support. Get out. The Windows controller support for, for the controller is absolutely fine. Biggest bugbear. I think every single Dark Souls game I've had some sort of controller issue. And then this one was like so perfect for so long. Right. The fiery crabs. Why do you live here? If you go and live anywhere else, you know I'm not going to listen to crab. Ow. I feel like the stone plate ring might have its merits, you know. Fuck off. Out of range. Can piss off. Can't wait to play this game again and, like, use a weapon where I can actually hit things. Oh, that's going to be a relief. As far as I recall, all of the... All of the crabs drop an item. Ah, oh, you bitch. Oh, come on. No. Just kill it. Just just kill it. Don't get greedy, but, like, actually kill it, though. The sooner we're done with this area, the better. I think because it's a dead end, it feels a lot less interesting, you know? It's like we're not going through here to progress. This is all purely optional. But, again, because we've got the randomizer, we really don't have a choice. Hello. I hate the fact that even though we're quite clearly in front of them, certain attacks that they do, we can't hit them at all. Oh, no. Okay, nice. Let's get in there. Oh, fucking... Why does this keep happening? Just die. I'm starting to think I wouldn't actually recommend this build <laughs> to anyone else wanting to play Dark Souls. It's fun as a challenge build, but fuck me. Some of the frustrations with it are um, ooh, really not worth it. I'm looking forward to playing Knights of the Old Republic 1. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? gonna be good. Whenever we, as soon as we finish this, we're, we're, we're on the, we're, we're gonna go, go play in Heights of the Old Republic. Nice turn-based game. I've got to worry about careful timing or 
reflexes. Doing silly challenges in it. Just gotta kill the bad man. Literally that easy. I don't remember which of these crabs would drop items and which don't. This might just be a massive waste of time, but... Okay. Okay. Nice. Oh, you fucker! It's kind of hard to stagger a giant crab, I suppose. Fuck it. We're going to resin. Probably shouldn't be using gold pine resin, so I think that's the only one we can't buy so readily. Crabs hate lightning. Is that all the resin gone already? Wow, it's not worth it. I'm really starting to take back this whole resin idea. Honestly, I think we're better just using the regular fucking lightning. I knew there was another crab somewhere. Regular fucking lightning cestus. 55. Oh, no. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> ah, piss off. Might have, to go to a, might have to go to a bonfire after this. Okay, let's go back to you. I think with the lightning cestus is plus 10, I might just roll with it permanently. Forget about the fucking resin idea. I don't know. Can you get clutch rings like plus one or two? I don't think you can, can you? I think clutch rings are just clutch rings. I don't think they have any new game plus equivalents. I, I hate you. I hate I'm stuck. I can't move. We're trapped between a crab and a rock. Oh, it's very difficult to... It doesn't look as if it's actually coming across on camera, but... What a laugh. Oh, here we go. Something tucked all the way in the furthest reaches. This better be a fucking incredible item. Because that whole crab situation just aged me 10 years. How day. Oh, penises. I didn't think you could see me from there. Okay. Let's actually go down into the ruins now. This was all just an optional little side activity. How fucking day. Okay. Sippy. Crab hasn't seen us. And down we go. The ruins proper. Uh, bonfire is this way and to the left, if I remember. Now we get to fight a bunch of pyromancer demons. I don't really know what they are. But I just know they love pyromancy. Who doesn't? Pyromancy is a fun way to play this. Are you... I can't believe you've done this. Every time I go to use that left bumper attack, always coincides when I don't have it equipped on both fucking fists. <laughs> right. Uh, bonfire, bonfire, bonfire. Ah. Walk right past the bloody thing. Hello. Let's go back to Firelink very, very quickly. We haven't found anything of value, but I'm just going to bank these, um, bank these souls. And on the plus side, by the time we actually get around to... Maybe finding the coal in the drag heap. We're going to have so much experience and souls banked. We can just level up into whatever fucking build we want, right? There's another 49,000 right there. Ashen. 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 Okay. Back to the demon ruins. I also don't know why they didn't put the old Demon King's room, like, right at the bottom of the Demon Ruins. That would have been kind of cool. Progressing through all of this stuff, going through the lava wall. Oh, I went to the wrong bonfire, but it really doesn't matter. Progressing through this whole thing, I only see a big room full of dead demons and one demon in the middle. That would have been quite an impressive sight. But instead, you've got these shits. Is this room identical to the room in the catacombs? It feels like it might be, but I don't think it is. Turns out you can't punch these demons up the arse. Ow. I might put on some fire protection here, actually. Hold on. Uh, let's swap you out. Fire damage absorption. Thank you. Everything straight sword. Great weapon. Great weapon that we can't use, but great weapon. This area, this is an identical tile set to that part of the catacombs, right? I mean, it's below the catacombs, so it does kind of make sense. 
Wow, that was a lot of toxic they threw in there. Fucking hell. Okay, that's a lot of enemies. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Oh, I may be dead here. Okay. <laughs> this isn't this isn't cowardice. This is tactically running away. Nice. Okay. Horrible. That poison. They did so much toxic and poison effect there. That was insane. Nice. Divine and conquer. Excuse me, Capra Demon. There should be another one somewhere, right? Was oh, this the one that did the poison damage? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, there's another one there. <laughs> Hello. You good? What are you doing in there? Well, I solved that, I think. Oh, Jesus. Working perfectly. Let's clear out the top here, then. I really don't know what we're looking for in particular, to be honest with you. Hello. Sir. Please stop humping my head. That was just exceptionally rude. Well, he's glowing now. Does that mean he's going to hit harder? What does that mean? He, like, stole our ember. What was, what was that about? Hello. Just having to lie down. Ow. Oh, Aunt oh, Margaret, you're not looking so good these days. Don't you try it. Oh, God. I think I know where we are. It, it, it's kind of hard to keep track coming in from this angle. I don't really know it so well from this direction. Down there, there's a bunch of those. Yeah, a bunch of those pyromancy demons. Look at that. Jesus. I think, I think my really big problem with this area is it does feel very recycled now that I'm going through it again. Those enemies that we were just fighting the Gru are from, you know, the bit of Farron Swamp we were in earlier. These statues, I'm pretty sure, are from Dark Souls 1, right? The one that's breathing fire, it's there. I can't believe you hit me with that. Apparently, they can also flame you through a wall. Stop that. Yeah, okay, I know where we are here. Yeah, got it, got it, got it. So that bit drops down to... Oh! Yeah, I was going to say I didn't think you could jump that. People do remember falling down there quite a lot. This area is full of illusory walls as well, if I, uh, as well, if I remember correctly. But it does feel very recycled. I think that's my problem with it. The, these enemies are just the same enemies we fought in Farron Keep. The actual walls and the layout and the structure feels just like the Catacombs of Carthus with some fiery trees on them. And there's nothing down here. That's, that's... I think the big problem. Nothing really of interest. Or value to the to the kind of game progression as a whole. Unless you are playing Pyromancer, like I said. As an NPC encounter? Like an invader? No. Hello? Oh, God. Thank God we got so many Esther sips. <laughs> I vividly remember there being like a black knight as well somewhere down here. Maybe that's behind an illusory wall. I think. Or maybe that's another big problem with this area. It all looks the fucking same. There's so little kind of... There we go. So little visual difference. Oh, speak of the devil. Hello. There's so little kind of visual variety down here. It's not much of a feast for the eyes. Thank you. Soul of a nameless soldier. Is that an item over there or is that just a random glow? God, I'm missing loads of stuff, aren't I? <laughs> Illusory walls and random items hidden behind... Random areas like that. Holy shit. I'm so sorry. There's so much stuff we are never going to see. Fucking hell. So I think we are supposed to go that way, but... I guess we'll try and head up here. 
Once it's on try. I'm not sure what we do about the big fire orbs that just kind of linger. I guess we're just trying to avoid them. So this is the other side of the floor we were on earlier. Oh, does this mean we've already cleared it out? It certainly looks like it, doesn't it? Was that the uh, that was the pillar where the man had his head trapped? Oh god, that hurts. Got so much poise. You're telling me that monster makes that fucking noise? Are you joking? <laughs> Sounded like one of those horrible Star Wars. Uh, not to be too cynical. Uh, those horrible Star Wars cash-in creatures. What are they called? Porgs. There he is. I remember you. It is very cool. It's a nice, fun little callback. Oh, so if we kill these guys, their orbs also disappear. Got it. Because the other one is gone that we saw earlier. Nice. Okay. Yeah, there you go. They're gone now. Fair enough. Let's him through there. I love these demon statues. They're very cool, aren't they? Is that Capra? That one there? God, if, if one of these just came to life, it would have been so incredible. I want to grab that without being blobbed. Oh, Jesus. I feel like a, a lava slime filled with spikes falling right on you while you're wearing plate armor should probably do more than a little bit of damage. I feel like that should be kind of life-ending. There could be all sorts of illusory walls down here. I have no idea. Ooh. Horrible rat. You almost got me. How do we get to that then, I wonder? Obviously not this way. Something for later. So this leads back up to where we were earlier. Where we came in the other direction. So this is fine. Uh, yeah, we came from up there, didn't we? Good shit. Hey, this is, this is good. Covering like a, a lot of ground now. Feeling a bit more confident. Let's get too lost in this place. So we know that somewhere to our right is an item. I guess we go through here. Really? Really? <laughs> I feel like beyond a point, certain enemies shouldn't be able to hit you anymore. You know? A little bit too strong to be hit by a mouse. I mean, I'm well aware it's not a mouse, but... We got, like, through here? It was an illusory wall. Oh, no. How much stuff am I going to miss? Okay, so there's that item that we saw earlier. Oh, it looks like, um... Calamity Ring. We won't be using that. It looks like Quaylog, doesn't it? The legs and the body? Looks like, um... Quaylog and the other... The, the albino demon... Okay, so here is full of a bunch of items that I'm fairly certain we can't get to without massive lava, like lava immunity, which we'll need a pyromancy for. We might have it. Uh, you know, let's just equip. Oh, we'd have to tune a bonfire anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Obviously, with those items being there, we will have to go through there. Well, potentially have to go in there at some point. Need to write that down as one of the areas that we'll, we'll go through later. As I recall, it's not also like a double illusory wall in this area somewhere. You can smash one and there's a wall immediately after it, but I don't remember where. Well, let's go this way. That's, that's, that's one of the locations to come back to, I think. Hello. Well, maybe I won't go this way. Never mind. Come get me. Come on, stupid. Come on, go for an attack. Come on. Damn it. Thought I'd give it a go. Pyromancy is to buff up. Very legal. Very much allowed in this run. I don't know to what kind of practicality they're going to be. Oh, that was the guy from earlier. I don't know how practical they're going to be. Swapping weapons for a buff. Hello, big ratty. Yeah, there's an illusory wall down here somewhere. I don't remember where, though. Where do all these giant rats keep coming from? Maybe they're like insects. Or the queen rat. Uh, chain away. Oh! Vault soul. There you go. I knew there was one here somewhere. Right, worry about that in a minute. Is there anything over here besides a bunch of fucking rats? Can't open that wake-up attack. We'll do more than that. Oh my god, we're getting absolutely devoured. 
Don't do it. You wouldn't part an old man and his walking stick, would you? <laughs> Alright, thank you. Um, ratties? All that, and there was no treasure. Unforgivable. Is there something on this ledge here, though, right? Yeah, there we go. An ember. I think we just broke that basilisk spine, but didn't actually kill it. Exceptional cruelty from... Ah, uh, grandson crap. But for basilisks, no holds barred. Let's be trying to heal. We don't need to heal. We just need to get away from the fucking basilisk. Oh, there are so many. Oh, there are so many. Okay, just take it slowly. No, we're dead. We're fucking, we're fucking dead. Yep. Oh, I hate curse so much. Curse with fists is a horrible combo. Oh shit, I'm not even sure I know how to get to there again. Fuck. We're gonna run either way. I'm not fighting all those enemies again. You can fuck off. Why take things slowly and methodically when you could just blitz through it without a care in the world? Ow. Okay, and then we went down here. Ow. Shot by pyromancers. Am I, have I gone the wrong way? Oh, I've gone the wrong fucking way. Bollocks. Goodbye, souls. Why did they scream like that? It's so bizarre. Don't do it. Thank you. I'll remember this. I won't extinguish you. Oh, God. There you go. It's easy. Easy when you try. Okay. So back up here. Around here. Past the ratty. So around the corner. Okay, okay. I think, I think I'm back on track. I'm not going to fight the basilisks. That's silly. It's very silly when you have only fists. Fuck off. You got any items? I like items. I don't like basil. Oh my god, there's so many. I think we may have landed in some sort of basilisk nest. That would have been a cool final boss for this area. A big fiery basilisk. Hello? Oh, there's a staircase down, right? Leads to uh, an invader, I think. Oh, well, speak of the devil. What are you wearing? What, you stole the dancer's clothes, Night Slayer? Sorry. That's a big fucking shield. Wow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> don't worry. I've got this. I've got this. I don't got this. Oh my god. I already don't got this. Fucking what? Wow, that was ridiculous. That was pathetic. Just terrible. I'm not having a good day today. Right, okay. Sorry, let me just see. Why does that do that? I feel like I must have a button bound on my controller somewhere. Like I'm touching the... I'm, I'm, I'm maybe move the stick too far over and hitting the touchpad and that is... Or is it this way? Yes. And I'm like triggering a weapon swap or something. I don't know, but we keep swapping between... One-handed and two-handed. It's driving me actually insane. Ah, oh, let's play this with keyboard and mouse. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. <laughs> it would be a cold day in hell. Just wish Steam would stop pushing feature after feature. We don't want it, Gabe. Remember what Gabe Newell said, that famous quote? Something along the lines of, uh... Thank you for playing my famous game. Uh, the Team Fortress. Now I have all your money, I don't give a fuck. There's something about services and 
piracy. Piracy is a failure of service, not a something, something, something. It was very poignant, and I'm, I barely did it justice there, but I think I get the point across. I really just thought he was going to roll right into the lava then. Brother. Don't do that. That shit hurts. <laughs> Two heals for Night Slayer Sorik. This is just the worst Dark Souls gameplay I've ever seen. And I'm here. Thank you. Contraption key. Ragged mask. Contraption key. What the fuck does that move? Is that not for the DLC area? Right? Is that not for Ariandel? Where you do something in the world and it makes it lovely and nice? I don't really remember. That could genuinely what we need to go and do the DLC. I almost hate saying those words out loud, but it's it's true. Right, we got Black Knight. And then we're almost done with this fucking cursed area. So I'm not sure I can fight you. I'm not good enough. This this episode is not my confidence significantly. And you need to have good confidence to be willing to fist a black knight like that. <laughs> Wake up attack to death. That'll do it. Ah. Huh. Oh, an Esther shard. That's actually a great upgrade. I feel like a failure to heal is not the problem with this run. Poor positioning and constantly shifting build, I think, is the problem with this run. What's our equipment load? We could wear, like, a slightly heavier armor, right? We need, like, slightly heavier, though. Smell's armor pushes us over. No, we haven't got heavier gauntlets. Heavier legs? Yes, but it's too heavy again. Wow. Maybe we should just go hard on equip load. Obviously, after we fought Yorm. Super hard on equip load. And see what we can do with it. Just go full on face tank the damage. It does sound kind of fun. It might make up for the fact that we can't output a huge amount of damage because we don't have the... The ability to enchant so easily. washing pole. Somebody said, why aren't you using B to climb up ladders faster? I'm holding B. This is, this is it. That's, that's without it. It's like barely any difference. <laughs> it's like next to no difference. I guess it's just because we're a big heavy boy. The largest of lads. There's that fucking crossbow again. We're coming up here to disable the crossbow. I'm also not sure what items are in this zone, so I'm going to keep my eyes particularly peeled. Is there something up there? Let's go and have a look. Jesus. Ah. Uh, oh, God, that wall. The fuck built that? I was quite glad I not to code. I don't want to live anywhere that can't survive a 120 meter. Oh! Crossbow. Rapid-fire siege engine firing down at it. You just can't get the work these days. Oh, it's the outside world. Look at that. Oh, penises. I wish it was the outside world. Hey. Gavlan, no wheel. Gavlan, no fucking deal. Gavlan's going to prison for a long time. Fraud. This area, I, I I think I've I've worked out in my mind. This area feels the most Dark Souls 2 of all the areas. Does that make sense? Seemingly thrown in at random with no connection to the previous area. And is, is visually very dull. What the fuck was that? Hello? Uh, what? I need to take Alexa out back and execute her. I keep hearing voices in my head. 
This isn't a nightmare I had. They're coming from a fucking phone. <laughs> Freaking me out. I thought Elise had like snuck up behind me. He was whispering in my ear. I only have one person whisper in my ear, and that's Gavlan. You know wheel or deal. You got 15 more embers to buy, though. That's quite nice. We're going to be unstoppable when eventually I commit to leveling up. Either we commit to leveling up and don't and and fight Yorm with Stormbreaker. And no, I'm not going to say chicken out, but fight the gimmick boss with the gimmick weapon as is intended. Otherwise, he takes very little damage. And by leveling up, it would make the rest of the game bearable. But also somewhat ruins the idea of Cestus only if we are having to not use a Cestus. But I'm also asking myself, do we want to make the rest of the game kind of shit? So that I can say, ha ha, I did use a Cestus to defeat Yorm. I'm not so sure about that one. That doesn't sound very convincing to me. I hate these abyss skeletons. You suck. This isn't Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. This is Dark Souls Man Fisted Once. Because once is all you need. You felt the hand of God. Now I have an arrow poking out my skull. And this is what I, I, I think I really misunderstood the most about this entire thing. There's a giant here. He's dead. He's calcified. I guess the giants were at war with... Well, Walnir is a giant. I don't really get it. The giants were at war with Lord L L L L L Lothric. I don't really know. So by doing this, it disables the the catapult, the 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 crossbow. But at this point, it's like, okay, but I'm already done with the whole level. <laughs> so, um, oh, and the bone shot is really nice. So it's like, great, but what does that really achieve? Unfortunately, not really fucking very much. Tragically. <gasps> oh. How are you supposed to get down from there if you're down in the hills? Maybe that's a homeward bone normally. Wouldn't be surprised. I guess the, the idea is you clear all that out first, and then you come item hunting, treasure hunting. Maybe you fight the old Iron King. No, the old Demon King. After you've disabled that, this is when you would fight the giant snake. And maybe that is intended as the final boss. I don't really know. It would make more sense if you couldn't get through the fog wall until you disable that. And then the old Demon King would be the final boss at that point, right? Doesn't really make much sense the way they've done it now. Anyway, we might as well Homeward Bone because we can just move on to the next area at this stage. Where do you want to go next? Uh, we could go Arch Dragon Peak and fight the Nameless King. <laughs> Given after today's performance, I'm not sure I could ever beat the Nameless King. Uh, or, I think Arch Dragon Peak, genu jokes aside, is is the right choice. Welcome. No, I don't want to level up. You almost, you almost caught me there. Sigma male grind set. Madam, I would, would you do me the honor, madam, of selling me your finest ember? Ashen one. Goods for services. Oh, and of course this prick would come back when I use all my souls. Oh, hello. hello. Oh, it go. He's finally stolen some things for us, huh? Okay, here's Goodbye. what I'm going to do then. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Here's what I'm going to do then. I'm going to crunch. Oh, we've got to go have a chat with what's his name too. Old man oh, Ludler. Refuse. All right. I, hate... I want to be able to buy some things from you, my friend. So he has for sale now a shitload of, like, a staggering amount of embers. They're, they're all infinite, by the way, with the exception of that one. Um, very, very cheap charcoal pine resin. Very, very cheap human pine resin, which I'm a big fan of. Um, no special time or anything. Infinite crystal and deep gems. Bone wheel shield. You a fucking... A slap in the face is what that is. Other than that, it doesn't really sell anything special. Go on. We'll send him out to go and steal again. Goodbye. Do... See you later. Now he's going to go off and steal some more things. 
Chris's stock, I suppose. Andre, reinforce my Astus, please. I need all the help I can get. No, 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 I don't want to talk to you. Uh, we still need time out chunks. Bloody hell, we haven't found any. I found all of them on the road of sacrifice, and then that's it. Jesus. Okay then, team. Well, let's go and have a chat with Ludleth, and then I guess we'll head over to Arch Dragon Peak. We did finish Irithil Dungeon. No, we didn't finish Irithil Dungeon. We still got to deal with the giant and go down to that area, haven't we? Things aren't quite... Yeah, okay, so we've got to do Irithil Dungeon. We've got to go through all the profane capital, too. I think I'd rather do Arch Dragon Peak, because that's kind of a thing by itself. Uh, Eyes of the Firekeeper. Reveals horrors to the sightless Firekeeper. Do we want to bring pain and suffering? <laughs> They're taking it another ending. So that's quite nice. Uh, Soul of the Boreal Valley Vault. We can smash it on the ground to say, Very good. No, no. I'll be honest, I'm not sure which I prefer. Give the firekeeper her eyes. Make her suffer with me. That could be quite good. I like that idea, actually. Okay. So I think we're all done now with this entire tab. If I have missed anything again, as always, please let me know. Scream at me until I pay attention to your comment. We're going to go to Irithil Dungeon. We're going to head to Arch Dragon Peak, I think. If nothing else, there's so many items in Arch Dragon Peak worth picking up. Well, obviously, I don't know what they are, but I'm saying that, that there are so many items there that the chance of us getting something good is pretty, pretty damn high. Piss off. Get out of here. Fucking overgrown ring doorbell. That's what you are. And instead of scaring off the burglars in my neighborhood, you're just looking at me angrily. Much like I do when I look through my ring doorbell. Coincidentally, this episode is sponsored. <laughs> I don't actually have one. I, I genuinely don't have one because I think it would get stolen, hilariously enough. Oh, but if it gets stolen, then you'll know who done it. You really think the police are going to waste time tracking down someone for stealing a fucking doorbell? Okay. So we now need to sit here. And up there, you see, is a fresh new land for me to die. Over and over. Uh, so let's get rid of you. Path of the dragon. And actually, for this area, Lightning Cestus is going to be our best friend. And I'm going to go as far to put on the clutch ring as well. <clears throat> Have I misremembered how you do this? No, we're good. <laughs> Just an onion waiting to become the dragon. We could actually become the dragon again, don't forget. Naked fists only. That would have been a run. The amount of times I missed this playing Dark Souls originally. Because it's such a weird thing, isn't it? You sit here and pray and then you're teleported up to a... Up to a temple. Arch Dragon Peak. I wonder if it's similar to Arch Dragon Peak from Dark Souls 2. I never really looked at the architecture too much. Here we are. A mystery land. High up in the hills. Don't fall off. Fuck you. Fuck what you're building. And fuck everything about this place. Because we're about to get our ass handed to us. Oh, God. I could try and remember where all the items are, too. Oh, it's Dragon Peak, where the frame rate is not peak. Oh, God. Jesus, the serpents. It's kind of really expecting lightning to do more damage to them, given that lightning... Dragons hate lightning in Dark Souls. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? We're, be we're below them. So it won't push us forward as we attack, so I can't hit this fucking guy. <laughs> Shit game. <laughs> there we go. Twinkling Titanite. Oh my god, we can farm them for Twinkling Titanite. Not massively relevant. There are a couple of fist weapons we can reinforce with Titanite, so 
One day it might be useful. God, that frame rate over here is dog shit. I was in my 3090s and cut out for this. <laughs> I still, I don't think I've, I've really properly talked about the story of that fucking graphics card. But I was building my new PC. Because I was like, look, I've taken on a lot of video work, okay? I know that I only do RimWorld really on the main channel every day now. I do have plans to change that eventually, but it takes so fucking long. I need to cut as many corners as possible and render videos as fast as possible officially. I've built a, a pretty beefy PC. Saved up my pennies for a long time. Invested all the Patreon money right back into the channel and uh, built a tanky PC. And I just happened when I was building this PC, I just happened to go on a website. I thought, I've got a 2080, but this is the same 2080 which blew up. And I didn't want to upgrade it. But also it blew up. And it was sent for an RMA. And I thought to myself. I mean this is my job. How long is, it, is a graphics card that I watched spark and smoke in the case. How long has that got? Before it gives up again. At which point I'm not able to do my job at all. Because I can't render videos without a graphics card. I mean you could but it'd be bloody slow. And playing games would obviously be a bit more of a concern. Oh, actually, I'm also on an AMD system, so I wouldn't be able to, without a graphics card, you can't output video. There's no integrated graphics drivers in AMD, unless you buy a specific integrated graphics chip. That's... Sorry, won't get too much inside baseball. So I was just in the market for one. I just thought, oh, how much are the new 3090s? They're obviously insanely powerful, even compared to the 2080s. And, uh... I saw one, it was like water cooled, built in AIO. Because I don't have a full water cool loop as much as I'd like to build one. You know, we're not in a permanent residence, so to speak. We were only expecting to live here a year while COVID was going down, and then we're going to move somewhere else, somewhere smaller. We haven't yet because, well, COVID hasn't really died down. Not to mention, Britain has other concerns right now. Not to get political. But there isn't anywhere else to rent literally in my in my in my town i was gonna say city but we're on the outskirts of the city there's nowhere else to rent in the town that i'm in now or the city nearby so it's a bit fucky wucky so we thought fuck it we'll just stay where we are and i'd like to build a water cooler system i will do eventually anyway this graphics card had like a uh, built-in water cooler and whatnot kind of screw the screw the radiator to the case and you're done. You don't have to do anything fancy with it. And uh, it was pretty much the best 3090. It is still one of the best 3090s money can buy because it has that extra cooling in it. It's factory overclocked significantly. Very, very powerful, etc, etc. It doesn't really matter. Uh, point is, it was during the big graphics card drought. And there still is a big graphics card drought where nobody can buy. That hurts. Nobody can buy graphics cards. And I bought this one just like... I was like, well, I didn't really need it, but the other graphics card could blow up at any time. So I, I, it's not like I really need it, but it would be a very big peace of mind and could potentially save me money legitimately by buying it. So I did. And it was only like £1,500, which is very, very, very expensive. But it's also for my job. So, you know, you got to... The costs are justifiable in that position. Fucker. Oh, you cunt. I thought we were enough below him. And it's for the job, so you know. Tax deductible. Turns out that same graphics card genuinely was like the final one in stock. Not only on that shop, but in the whole country. Uh, and when I say that, I mean like it was the only 3090 in the entire country. So I got very, 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 very fortunate. And I wasn't even, I, I wasn't even really, I knew that there were shortages, but I didn't know it was to the extent that no one would be able to get one. I've decided I don't want to fight these guys because they're shit. Can we get through here? I really don't remember Arch Dragon Team very well. Um, pull this, can't we? Does that open the front gate? Oh, it's that simple. Huh? Oh, fuck, I remember this bit. Okay. It's bits of all like would you piss off? I can't fight you. I'm not strong enough because we've got to fight fucking Yorm. Old Wolf Curve Sword. Old Wolf Curve Sword. That's the one with the um 
Is that the one with the health effect? I don't remember. No, I don't need people to understand. I literally cannot fight you. I'm too weak. <laughs> Please. Contraption does not move. Oh, God. That is the way in, then. It's gone over there. Be another way to go. Oh, piss right off. Why does it show us with the Calamity Ring effect? Did I instantly equip the Calamity Ring and not realize? No. No, no, no. It's because we've got the Lightning Clutch Ring. Makes us stronger offensively, but lowers our, de uh, lowers our defense. Right, sorry. I genuinely thought that I'd accidentally equip the Calamity Ring. There's the Nameless King up there. That's the guy we're going to go and kill eventually. And this is his friend. A big dragon. Ancient Wyvern. All right. Well, I was kind of expecting us to move up a bit more haste than that. But all right. <laughs> Why are we here? <laughs> they flip poison that gradually wear down foes. Yeah, I know they fucking feel at this point. A worn down is a very appropriate phrase. It's just very sneakily. Yeah. Let's do... Let's do... One of these. Right. Do we have the... Right. Okay, we're good. Let's get in. Get our souls. Kill the dragon. Get out. Very straightforward. Yes. Re to you too. Good roll. Lots of items here. Obviously, we'll worry about it later. This is another gimmicky boss fight, so I'm not really too bothered about this one. Got to try and remember how to do it, though. Again, I, I really do not remember Arch Dragon peak very well at all. I have a quick heal there. I feel like I really should go and do... I, I mean, to be honest, if we can clear Arch Dragon peak, that'd be great. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill the Nameless King. Having saved up all of our recent levels. And also using Cestus, but hey. Now, this is obviously a mistake, but I'm going to commit to it. Oh my god, we actually got away with it. Fuck me. Alright, go. down here. Climb up here. That dragon really has no idea what it's doing. No, no, no. We don't climb up here yet, but I've done it, so I'm going to commit to it. Offer its holy sword. We. And I should also point out, we're playing offline because I'm using the randomizer, right? You can tell it's a gimmick boss because there's a load of fucking hints written on the floor. That's what those yellow things are. For how to kill the dragon. That's it. It's, it's that easy. You punch it in the head. <laughs> Air of fire destroyed. Such a strange boss. Look at how graceful we are, though. Oh. And now, we get pulled into the past. Because you have to have some sort of Dark Souls time fuckery. Hello. Welcome. Hi, free one. I'm just about to end this episode because... Good, because I'm going to sleep. Because it's been an hour. I killed the Wyvern with my fists. Good job. Thank you. I'm really starting to regret this run. I tried fighting you on the giant. And oh, yeah, but you need the sword. You need the sword. I do 50 damage to him a time. Yeah, no. You got to find the sword. Well, I I mean, he is killable with the fist, but it's whether or not I want to sacrifice my sanity. No, just get the sword. Yeah, see, that's what I'm thinking. But you know there's going to be people in the comments like, Sisters only. Fists only. So, I mean, what do I do? If you say that, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess the decision has been made then. 
All right, well, thank you all for watching. Tomorrow we'll come back, and either we will try and kill the Nameless King, which I think is a fucking joke, or we could go to the DLC and try and kill Sister Freed. <laughs> oh, God. We're doomed. I would be able to do them if we were actually leveling up, but hey. I think we'll uh, have to come to a solid decision about Yawn before then, so see you all. See you all next time.